Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Angela from the HKBU Library. And uh, for our learning event today is about e-books. And I hope you uh, will be no more about e-books and any other things that related to e-books after our learning event today. So uh, before I start uh, my learning event today, I have some logistic um, um, prompts I want to highlight before uh, my presentation to be start. So let me share a screen of my computer. So, here is the screen. So, as you can see here on my screen, let me um, put it in the slide. Slide show. So here are a few things that I want to highlight before I start my presentation today. That is, um, our learning event today, as I mentioned before, is about e-books. That is, uh, I hope to share everything you need to know about e-books in HKBU library and beyond our HKBU library collection. And um, some students may be concerned about uh, the participants and how to the library counting your attendance for our learning event. So here are some points I would like to highlight. First, you need to be online for at least 80% during the duration term of the event, then you will be eligible for a CCL practice. And uh, you can ask me any questions at any time during my presentation using the chat function in the room. And uh, as a facilitator, I will provide you the opportunity to ask questions. And uh, at the last uh, of my uh, presentation, near the end of our session today, I will share a link, uh, about one minute feedback survey uh, for you to give us some feedback about the content, about the arrangement, everything about this planning event today. So uh, here is a lot about the CCL credit. How do we count that you have at least 80 percent, uh, pay at least 80 percent attention for our for our learning event today? That is, um, when you are using Zoom, we can draw an attendance report uh, after our learning event today. So uh, you can see that on the right hand side there is. Uh, uh, attentiveness score. Uh, we count your attendance based on this uh, attentiveness score. So please keep this Zoom in focus. That is, open this Zoom and uh, I hope that you will be in focus of our, my presentation later on and don't do any other rough searching, replying to email or chatting with other friends during our learning event today because the attention tracking has been enabled for this learning event and keep the Zoom desktop client, or if you are using your mobile, keep the mobile apps in focus. What is the meaning of in focus? That means the Zoom meetings will is open and active. So at the end, I will share a one minute feedback survey with you all. And the session is this one. First now, let me go back to my presentation today. And um, may I ask any questions about um, the logistic management? If you have any questions, feel free to type your questions in the chat room so that I can get a note um, if you have any questions. I can see that now about uh, 69 people already joining our learning event today. So let me start my presentation. Here, let me present. So, as I said, I see a chat question. How long is this course? Oh, this course will uh, last about uh, within 15 minutes. We'll uh, end our session around 3 20 today. Around 3 20 today. Thank you for your question, Janice. Thank you. So, um, as I said, this learning event is about e -bills. Here are some questions that I highlight in our session today. First, do you know what is an academic e -book? Actually, an e books or you can see there are some terms between e books e hyper book, or even use a capital letter book. This is a book published in an electronic format. It allows the readers for instant access to a book by downloading it over the internet or read it online. 
foreign electronic book, it can be read on the computer, an e-book reader, for example, many people will buy uh, an Amazon Kindle to read the e-books for private use. You can also read the e-books through smartphones or even through tablets or iPads. And e-books can be published in many, many different formats. For example, it can be in print text, in a PDF file, which has format. Some e-books also have some uh, images files and interactive activities inside it. In fact, not all e-books are the same. That's why some people will feel quite confusing when reading or using or even uh, downloading an e-book. So nowadays, people can buy their uh, personal e-books through the e-book markets, through the bookstore. And what's the difference between e-books for private use or personal use or the e-books in an academic library like HKBU library? Let me share with you. So here are some questions that I uh, heard from our users, some of our students, some of our staff that's collected by from them. And they're asking, what are the e-books in academic libraries? How do the academic libraries work, e-books work? And why are they different from other library resources like uh, the uh, periodical journals, multimedia resources, etc.? And I found that there is very interesting, very short uh, YouTube video uh, presented by the RMIT University. And let's have a look of the video uh, about uh, what is academic e-books. And let me know um let me see whether it can be here or not can you hear the container with a traditional print book the information or content and the container are locked together with an e-book this physical connection is broken and the information is released from the container this is still dependable quality information but you can now access it in a variety of formats this makes it more convenient to work with. In university libraries, ebooks work differently from the ones you buy for personal use. As with print books, you borrow ebooks from the library. This means that even if you've downloaded a book, it will disappear from your computer or device at the end of the borrowing period. And not all ebooks are the same. Individual publishers decide how their ebooks can be used, which leads to differences in how long you can borrow for, how much of the book you can copy, print and download, and also whether you need to get extra software to view the content. Plus, you don't have to go into the library to borrow or return ebooks, and there are no fines. Ebooks are a great addition to what libraries offer, but when it comes to finding information, ebooks are only part of the picture. Print books are still really important in university libraries. Books for some subject areas and most textbooks are still only published in print format. So make sure you research widely for all your assignments. So here's a short, very short video about ebooks. And let me go back to my presentation. As you can see, uh, for academic ebooks in the library, it's a bit different from other library resources and even for the personal use ebooks. And now I have a question I want to ask you all because uh, I can see your face. I know that some of you may already uh, um, use the radio function in Zoom, but I see that the majority of you haven't uh, used switch on your radio cam. That's my, I want to ask you a question through the Mentimeters, that is, have you read or downloaded any ebooks from the library? And let me show you the link here. So, let me go to here. Okay, I can see. Some of you already answered my question here. That's good. You can scan the QR code. Let me show you the QR code again here. If you cannot read it. And I can also uh, copy the link. Let me show you. So here is the link for you to roll. Have you downloaded or read any ebooks from the library nowadays? Because uh, now face-to-face -face classes have 
been suspended. And most of our teaching uh, in the curriculum is already changed to online mode. So now, even though the library, the physical building of the library is still open, but um, our service counter is called, you can only use our self-check machine to borrow books from the library, the print books. So have you read or done any e-books from the library? Mm -hmm. I can see 30 of you gave me the response. Oh. But comparing with uh, the differences between the two answers, uh, 17 of you have from read or download ebooks from the library. That's interesting. So, go you know, back to my presentation. But it's good for me to know. And here, I would like to share with you an example. I can see. <laughs> very long. What's the mean of a uh, very long for Hoyman? Uh, I can see that uh, here is a new example from the library. Here is the book title and for the search screen. Here, if you use one search to search for a ebook, here is the catalog record that you find. And then you can get access to the ebooks through the access online link here, like this example. The link is provided by the ProGlass platform. And when you click into the platform link, you can see here is the uh, book information. You can check the availability. The institution has access to one copy of this ebook. You can read it online, download the ebooks, how many pages that you can download, how many pages that you can um, make copy or um, save to a free PDF format. And here are some citations. I will show you more information later on. Here is just an example from the Progress ebook central, as you can see of the uh, top left hand corner, this book is provided from the Progress ebook central. So here, as you uh, just wrote for our my questions, some of you haven't downloaded or read ebook before. So here, let me share with you some reason why you have to use ebooks nowadays. First, with remote access, ebooks now are there when you need them, not just in the library opening hours. For example, now uh, the face-to-face -face class have already been suspended, and students, teachers, instructor, lecturers, or even professor can access our ebooks through the library website. And I will show you step by step through a very short video, how can you find the ebooks in our library catalog or library website. So once you need them, you can just access to the library website and then read the online ebooks, uh, even though it's already uh, in 1 a.m. in the midnight, no matter the library loan opens or not. Second, ebooks through the ebook platform uh, website or pages, you can do the full text searching that can help you to save your time. For example, you have uh, one keyword or one topic within the keyboards. You will want to find out the chapters or pages or that paragraph that contains that uh, topic or keywords for your research, your assignment. You can just do a full text searching within the ebook platform and that can help you to save your time uh, to find the relevant sessions or passages. And multiple ebooks are easier for you to carry around. You can just make use of your mobile phone, uh, smartphone, uh, or even tablet or um, your laptop. to get access to when you have multiple ebooks to read or doing your research. So here are some uh, of the advantages using ebooks, but as said, some of you haven't used or read the ebook online before. Can you think of one drawback of using ebooks? And let me go to the question here. The same QR code. If you're using a mobile phone that's already scanned a code, you can see the question has already, already been updated. If you haven't yet, I can share with you the QR code for you to roll or to answer this question. Can you think of one drawback? of using ebooks. That is the, one of the disadvantages you can think of why you uh, not using ebooks or not choose you using ebooks for your research or study. Can you give me the answer here? Or you can go to medi.com, use the code 
Mm-hmm. I can see that some of you already give a very uh, fast answer to this very short question. Can you think from draw that? Mm -hmm. Let me know what um, the points that um, that is one of the deep advantages to using ebooks. Mm. Copyright is one of the concern. You may need to use certain device to read. Sometimes use the laptop. Sometimes use the mobile phone. How to highlight important notes on it? That's true. That's correct. I feel that mm -hmm. for some people they use a. Um, uh, Focusing on the screen may be one of the problems for some of the people. Yes, uh, the eyes illness, because you have to concentrate of the screen of your device or machine. Yeah. Uh, difficult to make some notes, easy to forget, cannot keep for a long time. I have, let me show you uh, more answer. Mm. I easily get tired, come up. Mm -hmm. I think one of the drawbacks is that uh, you have to focus on the paragraphs of the e-books. Even me as a librarian, when I read the e-books, I cannot read it for a long time. But for a physical copy of books, I can flip the pages of a book. That's why, well, when I want to stop one pages, I can just put it aside and then I can enjoy a cup of tea. But if I'm reading an e books through my laptop or through a uh, um, uh, an iPad, I have to concentrate and for my eyes may be a little bit tired during after long term. Thank you very much for your feedback. Share with us one of the drawbacks of using ebooks. Even there are some drawbacks, as I mentioned before, there are some other advantages using ebooks. We can try to make use of different channels to access the knowledge. That's why ebooks is one of the tools that we can use nowadays because uh, during the, um, uh, the speed up of the virus nowadays, keeping social distance from people is very important to avoid the virus, COVID-19. That's why ebooks is one of the way for us to continue our study, continue our research. So thank you very much for your answer. And let me continue here. So, as you can see, uh, some people or some user or some participants said that uh, one of the drawbacks using the ebook is uh, easy to forget or do not know where is the way to find the ebooks. And uh, as a librarian at HKBU Library, I can share with you the best way for you to find individual ebooks in HKBU Library is using one search. Here are some steps. That's a quick tips for you to find the ebooks in the library. First, uh, you can start your searching for ebooks using the keywords of your topic, just like searching for other library materials, library resources with your topic or with your idea. Once you have a list of the results, you, the second step, you have to filter out your search results. Under the alphabetity, uh, alphabetity a filter on the right hand side, you can choose through test online, and then uh, scroll down, you can share uh, the both categories under with soft type and click the apply filter. So let me share with you a very another short video that's how could you find ebooks within HKBU library. Can you hear uh, the sound of the video that I shared before? Just let me know if you cannot hear the sound because I want to check about the technical uh, support for this. Um, video okay so here let me share with you and short video so i've simply labeled as book to show if you can't make it to the library in person it can be helpful to limit your search to our ebook collection one search does not obviously distinguish between ebooks and print books both formats are simply labeled as book to show only ebooks, check the availability option, full text online, and choose the resource type, books. Then click apply filters. Follow the online access link to start reading. If you have any questions about using our ebooks, feel free to ask a librarian. So, it's a very short video to show you the way that you can find the ebooks in the library once search. 
two steps, search the box and then limit with the filters to be found the result. So, let me go back here. Another way to find our ebook collection is uh, through our ebook guides. In fact, our librarians have created a ebook guide in our research guides and list out many other uh, ebooks platform and you can browse the subject area that's provided by the ebook platform. For asking, how could you find this ebook guide? Let me show you here. You can see this is the page of our ebook guide. On the left hand side, you can see how could you access, download, and print the ebooks. And here is the list of the ebook platform. They are listed in alphabetical order. And also, you can see what subject or content area for each of the uh, ebook platform. And where can you find it? It's simple. Just go to the library website. Here is the library website. So, for one search, you can search for just ebooks and then do a search, type in ebooks. And then you will see, let me go back. So in one search from all library HKBU resources and type in ebooks. Here, and then you will see ebooks guide is on the first result when you click on the guide. So here is the home page of this ebook guide and introduction. And then when you click on the tab on the left hand side, you can see our ebook collection within different platform, um, different ebook platforms. Some of them related to humanities studies, literature, multidisciplinary areas. And also this table is very useful because it uh, lists out how or can you download or print the ebooks through this platform. If so, what is the allowance of this uh, ebook platform? Some of you provide uh, one chapter or one session for you to download. And apart from English ebooks, we also have certain uh, Chinese ebook platform. For example, from Taiwan, we have Ariti, uh, Apabi, and also Kendo, Hybrid is from Taiwan. And for a uh, Chinese ebook, we have China Mass, which is a very uh, big collection of the Chinese ebook in our library. So China Mass, Chiu Xing, Shou Ji Po Shui Gun. So, here are the way for you to find the ebooks and why you can have to find the ebooks. Talking about how could you access the ebooks similar to access our other e electronic resources provided by the library. If you're off campus, you'll be prone to log in with your HKBU SSR ID and password. So after doing a search in one search, click on the online access link and then you'll be prone to log in with the HKBU SSR ID and then you can access our ebooks. For reading ebooks online, you can read our ebooks uh, with any secure uh, internet connection. Actually, various features are available when reading ebooks online, such as you can print, you can make copy, you can save. Because some of you said that, oh, how could you keep the ebooks? Because some of the platform require you to sign up for another individual account so that you can save what you highlight or what you annotate for that ebooks. You can also do some searching within the ebooks, some annotate, I said, highlight, create notes if you want, bookmark the pages, share the links even the period of term. But please be noted that uh, for the subscriber uh, ebooks in HKBU library is provided by multiple ebooks providers and not all features are available on the all platform providers. Okay. So talking about uh, 
how do you read online or download ebook some of you may prefer to read the ebook online so that you can browse the pages and during the access time you can read it and some of you may want to download the ebooks for a period of time so here are my advice for you to do so if you are using a public pc no matter you are using the public pc in the library or in the cafe uh, I would recommend you to read online rather than download because downloading to a public PC doesn't work with all the ebooks. At the same time, you may need to uh, have a special software for you to download those ebooks. But if you are using your own device, your own desktop, your own PC, or your own laptop, uh, you just need to install some specific software or an application, an app uh, for your device or mobile apps. For example, if you're using PC or Mac machine, you have to install the Adobe Digital Edition. And uh, here is a note for your attention because for some technical issues, uh, the ADE is not currently available on the library's public station in the library building. And uh, for, for those who are using tablet, iPad, or smartphone to, to read or to download ebooks, you may have to download the Blue Fire Reader apps. And uh, here, these are the specific um, software that you need to be installed on your machine first before you download the ebooks. And for downloading, just like borrowing physical books from the library, once you download the ebooks, it doesn't mean that you can keep the ebooks for a permanent time. Just like borrowing an ebooks, a uh, printed books from the library counter, there are short term, long period. For example, now uh, you can borrow a box from the library, printed books for 20 weeks, or some items maybe have shorter uh, uh, period of time. Similar to this route, for ebooks, if you download, it just means that you can use the ebooks or read the download the ebooks in a period of time. Some of them may be three days, some of them may be one day, some of them may be seven days. And after this specific period of time, you cannot access to the ebooks content anymore in your software. The books will be uh, will be disappear in your app because the books is already checked out already and checked into the to the library. That's why some people may be uh, quite, feel quite confusing when they are downloading ebooks. They believe that, oh, when I download the ebooks, does it mean that I can keep the books forever? It doesn't, that's logic because that's, it belongs to the library. The license, the copyright, it belongs to the library. That's why once you download the ebooks, uh, that means you can only keep it for a period of time. But if you download a specific PDF chapter, a section of the ebooks, you can use it later. And here, I would like to share with you within our ebook guys, that's the link I showed you before. Um, here, uh, you can see that the different allowance are provided by different ebooks publisher or ebook providers. That's why some people will feel quite um, confused or have some problems, how long can they keep or how, uh, how many pages they can download from the ebooks uh, platform. As you can see here, for example, uh, for the EBSCO host, which is a very big um, ebooks provider, is contains the contents in multidisciplinary areas. Uh, if you want to download or print an EBSCO host ebooks, you need to sign up for a personal EBSCO account. This is a bit different from the HKB SSRID. You have your own individual account for reading the EBSCO host uh, materials. You can enjoy partial downloads. Uh, session for example uh, less than about 100 pages for a full title downloads is only allow you to have one day long for a maximum of 50 titles and this requirement may be changed from time to time it really depends on um, the settings or the conflicts uh, from the ebook providers because uh, Nowadays, as far as I know, I did some search for the ebooks publisher. Some of the ebook publishers have some release of their ebook contents because of the speed up of the COVID-19. Some of the ebook publisher, they um, announced that uh, they open some of the ebook collection for free access, free access, no change, no charge, etc. Uh, until a certain time, like uh, until mid of June uh, this year, and everybody can download the ebooks, can, can read the ebooks from their platform, no need to pay. But this is just a, 
a special arrangement from some of the publishers. That's why um, we, we nowadays know that uh, some of the publishers already released their restriction for the e-books, but uh, we don't have um, a specific announcement for what kind of e-books can be read online for free access. And similar to the English e-books platform, here are the uh, list of the Chinese e-book platform. So here, as you can see, some of the platform also requires uh, users to sign up or uh, register for a personal account, and they can also do a full test title download. Uh, some of the restriction may be a uh, three days long. Some of them may be a uh, um, and title for full title download. They can and download the title in a PDF file format for the whole set for the whole title, and some of them may be restricted to five pages only. And here, just a reminder, even though uh, the ebook providers or publisher allows users, allow readers to download the entire PDF ebooks. Um, but please be mindful of the appropriate use of the e resources provided by our library when you are downloading or printing ebooks. Because for any misuse of e resources by individual users in violation of the library license, agreements with the publisher, it may end if the result is the suspension or termination of the entire university committees to access the specific library subscriber e resources. This is a very, very big influence because not just affected the individual user who violate the license with the between the library and also the publisher, but it's also affects the entire university community to access the a whole bundle or a whole ebook collection provided by that publisher or ebook provider. So please be mindful that make use of the ebook resources in an appropriate way. And as I mentioned, some of you may feel that, oh, some confusing about how to download the ebooks, how many pages, even though we have the tables that's this out from our ebook guides. And actually, from the ebooks pages, you can check about the uh, regulation or restriction from each publisher. And here, let me share, share you another video produced by my colleagues that is, what are the ebook options that you can uh, choose? And um, how to find the, I received a question from one of uh, the participants here. How to find the pages or download ebooks pages? Can you step? Okay, I will show you the step later, but let me share with you this video and I will show you the step to this out how many pages that you can download. For our ebooks can be confusing because different vendors offer different levels of access. Some publishers allow you to download the entire full text of an ebook as so a PDF. Here from this screen capture, you can see that some of the publishers allow you to download the whole title of the ebook in a PDF format. Just like for Wiley Online Library, this platform, when you search for this book, you can see the link, access link, or an icon for you to download the whole ebooks. PDF. Other vendors are more restrictive and will limit the number of HKB users that can access the book at the same time. So, in this example, in this example, this is part of a Progress eBook Central. Uh, the title of the book is uh, Health Psychology: A Critical Introduction. As you can see, you can share to read it online, and uh, this book is not available for full download. And Talking about how many pages you can download from this ebook, it's not the whole title, not the whole uh, copy. It's just allow you to download up to 186 pages. Use, you can use any PDF software uh, to read it, and it does not exist after the expiry date. So as you can see here, uh, for this access, you can um, have 93 pages remaining for the copy. And here you can see how many pages you can print. Just list out uh, from the page of the platform. You may download selected page ranges and entire chapters, but there will be a limit on the total number of pages that you can download. When reading online, you can scroll through the entire book. Use the download options to save parts of the book as a PDF. 
you need help with ebook downloads, feel free to ask a librarian. So this video to show you the way. Back to this question raised up by uh, Chi Kong Hong. How to find the page of ebooks done? I hope that the video already show you the answer. But if you this is not clear, let me show you here. So for the one search, let me go back to the one search. I just search for social media. Maybe social media networking, just a topic that I want to uh, share. So here, just pick on the right hand side under the ability. As I share with you, check the full test online criteria and then under the resource type, check for the box and apply this filter to refine your research result. As you can see here, if you are off campus now, you can sign in so that you can get access to the content of the book. So now I have to sign in first because the system will prompt me to access and I have to do a do a push As you can see, the system is now running. Take some time. You look at me. two filters so just like this example let me just click on this one here two balls published in two edition once 2009 is 2010 and I click the online access link And for this book, it's provided by Box 24 um, Seven, this uh, ebook platform. And here you can. For this platform, it's only allow you to read it online. Actually, you can do some advanced search. Let me take another box example. So for this ebook, you can full science direct to read online. Some of the books, as you can see here, we have free access link to access to these ebooks. One is provided by the box 24 plus uh, seven. One is for the science direct, one is for awareness really for higher education. Because uh, for this uh, ebook platform, I, I know that for science direct, it's allow us to download the whole ebooks the whole chapter, the all the chapter or by table of content, you can share the ebooks. And for another access point, you can just read it online. So based on your research experience or study experience, you can share one of the access link, one of the platform, all the access link can access to the identical resources, identical ebooks. The contents are the same. Just provide your multiple access link for you to access this ebook. And then you can see how many chapters you can download, how many um, pages you can print or save. You can view the extract or download in PDF. I hope this is clear to answer your question. You're welcome, Shi Kong. So let me continue from my presentation. some problems for the slide. Okay, go. Cool. 
So nearly the last part of my presentation today, and I will give you some time to ask me other questions related to ebooks. After you find the ebooks, you use it, you read it online, or download the ebooks from the library website, download the pages, the last thing you have to do is when you're writing up your assignment, finish your research, you have to cite your ebooks. So how could you cite that ebooks is very important. In fact, the structure of citation for an ebook is just similar to cite a, a print book, but you have to include the DOI. DOI means the digital object identifier. That is the link for the specific information. That is the identifier for that e resources. Okay, if it is exist. Uh, in the reality, many ebooks platform and even OneSearch allow you to export a copy or paste the citation to various uh, reference manager tools, or you can copy and paste the citation format, the citation style uh, in your preferred array and copy and paste it into the rough document. And but be please be reminded that you need to check the details that you have been imported as some of the uh, machine um, generated citation may have some missing statement, may have some missing items, content, or may not be fully 100% correct. There's no common standards across the platform. For example, uh, for APA, the new edition for APA citation style is just released in last October. The latest edition is APA 7th edition. But I crossed the check that uh, for many of the ebooks platform, they are still providing the APA citation format in update or upgrade the citation format for the ebooks platform. And now it's just uh, the end of March. It's just uh, less than half year from the release of the latest edition of AP style. That's why if you're writing your paper, research paper, your thesis, your dissertation, or even your research paper, check about the details of the citation generated by the platform. Even one search or one search. If I share with you here, let me go back here. So one such have a function that you can uh, list out the citation. You can see this for APA style. It just um, provide, generate in the sixth edition, which uh, may not be 100% if you are using your uh, citation so in seventh edition throughout your paper. So have to double check. And uh, let me go back to you. Here is the science direct. You can export the citation. Can share, okay, just actually the citation. Let me choose just one. For example, here, citing this article. Here is the citation. You can share, export, etc. And uh, let me choose another example that is more easy to digest. Let me show you here. So for this one, it's from EBSCOhost, this ebook. I'll just share with you how could you do the citation using one search. For one search, just one click from the citation here, and you can see and copy and paste the citation. And for this ebook, the character of connectivity. So here on the right hand side, you can see the site button because this ebook is provided by EBSCOhost. And here in the middle of the screen, you can choose the citation style. So you can choose APA, MLA. If you prefer using MLA, you can also choose MLA style. But please double check with the citation format. And for the library, for the library, we have just uh, updated the content of the library citing source guide here and we have updated contents for the citation in AP style up to the seventh edition. So if you visit our site, citing source guide here, you can see there is a column that you can find some examples. How could you cite the ebooks in a appropriate format? What are the uh, criteria or um, the items that you have to list out? Remember to uh, 
list out the EOI if it is existed or available. And uh, when the citing an ebook that you have found in the research database that is uh, do not have a DOI, you can just simply follow the same format as for print books. So similar to use print books as the structure. That is okay. That is fine. If you have any questions for citing ebooks, don't be shy. Don't be hesitate. Just feel free to ask me or send us a question. I will share with you how could you ask question nowadays because uh, we don't have the uh, physical information in our library because we <coughs> encourage our colleagues to work from home during this special period of time. But we also offer the virtual information desk. We also offer WhatsApp services. Facebook messages for you to ask or uh, inquire for any questions that you are doing your research or using the library services or facilities. The last sort of thing is here are some FAQ that I found from the library website that's frequently asked by our students. That is, have you encountered this situation? What does it mean when an ebook is in use? Just like a physical book in the library is already checked out from another, by another user from the bookshelf. This is not available in the library bookshelf. But for ebooks, when you click into the ebook platform page, you will see that, oh, the book is now in use. What does that mean? This is similar case because that book is already downloaded by another user. You may revisit the website later on once the another user has been used it up. Okay. Uh, I'm not able to rerun library ebooks. Why is that? That is a very frequently asked question. Maybe there are some problems for the library website or um, some issue that's available here. And let me show you the page here. What is the model answer that we provide to our user? Here, if you see that there is a question, let me show you the bigger screen. So here is the question to come up. What does it mean uh, you are not able to build the library ebooks? You may see the message is, uh, sorry, this book is already in use, or in some cases, uh, there are some other library user check out the, or download the ebooks. Our advice is you may try to build the ebooks again a bit later, maybe after a few hours or maybe after one day, and then you will see uh, the book is now available for you to read or to download. For another question is that, can you access to some textbook? Because uh, maybe you have to do some study on the textbook chapter. Is it possible for you to access an ebook version of your textbook? And uh, our answer is quite complicated. It's because nowadays, still many publishers choose not to make the e version of their textbook available purchased by the library. That's why for the library purchased version, it's not the exact version for the textbook. That's why in some cases, the library still purchase some print copy of the textbook. And uh, if you have the similar situation want to face, you can check whether you can refine your search under the search result to see whether the textbook of that uh, e, the e version of that textbook is available for you to read or download. Okay, you can reset the filter. So that's come nearly the end of my presentation today. I would like to ask any questions uh, for my presentation today. I would like to go back. Any questions? If um, you can raise up your hand or type in any questions if you have. Any questions? Because now it's just uh, nearly free twenty. Thank you for your attention. And uh, before I stop sharing my screen before I stop sharing my screen. As I mentioned, feel free to ask me any questions using the chat room. Okay, before I stop sharing, go back to my first slide. I have a survey that would like to seek your feedback for our session today. So here, let me show you the link, and I will type, copy, and paste it in our chat room. So here, is the link of the one minute survey. Please uh, 
use one minute now to complete your survey and give us some feedback about the content. I hope that the sharing of the ebooks information today will help you to know more about uh, ebooks. For the session code that you have to enter for this learning event, please enter 14014. 014. This is the session codes for this event. The survey is very short, just three questions you have to answer. The session code is 014. And I hope you to complete this one minute survey. You can find the link in the chat room. Mm, very good question from Janice. Thank you. What do you need to do to get a credit? So after our session today, we will generate, as I mentioned before the starting of our session today, we will generate the activities of the report, activity reports today. And it tells us about a two ways to, because we have to um, use a manual method to uh, take check about the attendance through the report. It takes about uh, two weeks for us uh, to send the activities report result to the essay to update your uh, CCL credit information. So, so if after two weeks you cannot find the results reflected from your uh, uh, student record, uh, please ask us for any checking, okay? After about two weeks, we will generate a attendance uh, report after our session and it takes about two weeks for our colleagues to manually check the results and um, proceed with some um, uh, criteria information with the SA, okay? Hope this is clear, it takes about two weeks. Any other questions about CCL or about the feedback survey or even about the ebooks today? If no, thank you very much for your attention today during our session in this afternoon. I hope that you will uh, enjoy to read or download the ebooks.